All right, so I want to do a seated cable row, but we're going to do it with a little bit of a twist. We're going to change the speed at which we're lifting in order to assist you in building muscle, which will also help you to lose weight. Cable row works the lats, the biceps, the rear delts, your rear shoulder, your trapezius muscles all up here in your upper uh, back, and the rhomboids, which sit in between your shoulder blades. Okay, so it's a great all around exercise, especially good to help you with your posture. So what I want you to do, I'm going to explain the lift first, and I'm going to explain the variation, how we're going to do it, okay? So, you place your feet firmly against the stops, whatever the stops are, and you get tension on the cable, sitting up nice and straight, okay? Now you can have your hands down, do it nice and wide, you can have them neutral, do it like so. You can have them pointing up, do it like so, and you can rotate them throughout the range of motion, okay? What I want you to remember is back straight, don't slouch, that's too much strain on your lower back. And the first part of the motion is squeezing your shoulder blades before you pull back. So the motion goes from the shoulder blades, then the shoulders move, and then the elbows move, and then the reverse happens. Elbows, shoulders, shoulder blades relax without slouching, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to slow down the lift count. We're going to use something called a 1140 tempo in order to help you put on a little more muscle. Okay? So here's what it looks like one second in, one second hold, one, two, three, four, no pause. One, 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 two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you saw me bouncing back and forth between going one, 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 two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a reason for that. First, the one, 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 two, three, four is the length of time of each part of the motion, okay? So one second to pull it in, one second to hold. That's very important, okay? Four seconds to go back. Now there was no pause at the end. You don't need a pause here. You're relaxed. You actually don't want a pause there. You want to maintain tension on the muscles. So when I go back, I reverse it right away. Okay? One, two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. The reason why I counted from one to six is because the movement, the whole movement, is six seconds. Now here's the thing. As a trainer over the years, what I've witnessed is people like to speed up when they do this movement, right? There's this thing I think that goes on in our brain that says the faster I go, the faster it'll get done. But not necessarily so, because if I give you a 10 reps to do, you're gonna do 10 reps no matter what, but the faster you go through each rep, the easier it is, right? Because it's in the going slow here that the muscles really get fatigued and start to burn. So I want you to really focus on maintaining that count and to keep you honest, what we're gonna do so we're going to use a metronome. So you're going to download an app called, let me just call it up here, Metronome Beats. And what you're going to do is you're going to set it for 60 beats a minute, 6 beats per bar. So what that means is each time you hear a noise after I hit start, it's going to count one second. And it's going to go through a cycle of six seconds before it starts again. Here you go. Two, three, four, five, six and one two three four five six and that's what you're going to you to use to make sure that you're lifting at the right count let me show you let me get all set up and ready here we go one 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 two three one, 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 two, three, four. Okay, there you go. Now, remember, during that movement, make sure you keep your core nice and tight. 
don't slouch, okay? Bad for your lower back, bad for your posture, bad for everything. You don't wanna take advantage of the opportunity to maintain a nice, nice proud chest, shoulder blade squeeze, nice straight spine, right? This is how you practice good posture as we uh, move into our later years as I am, okay? So that is a 1140 seated cable row using a metronome, metronome beats, don't forget that.